Alrighty guys, welcome to the nutrition seminar. So what we're going to go through today is basically what I wish I knew starting my health fitness journey. Um, this is the first thing we're going to teach our clients to come in the door as well. So you guys are off to a really strong start. Firstly guys, we're going to break the myth. Under eating does not equal fat loss, okay? It's very, very common that clients come in the door on like 500 calories or maybe 1,000 calories if we're lucky. What happens here, guys, is your body gets very, very good at storing body fat, okay? It doesn't trust that you're going to feed it. So what happens is it has to store body fat in order to survive, okay? Both myself and Crystal went through this. I used to train basically an hour. I used to run for like an hour. I used to do an hour and a half of basically of weights a day as well, and I would basically eat Oh, I'd be lucky to have a thousand calories, really. And I did not see what I wanted to see because my body got very, very good at dropping muscle and storing body fat, which is the two things we don't want, okay? What happens, guys, is basically it's a survival mechanism. So if you starve yourself, your body will basically do this, obviously, for your own benefit to keep you alive. Um, it will basically hold on to whatever it can. Um, so if you're having 500 calories or 1,000 calories and wondering why you're not losing body fat, it's because your body's holding on to everything, okay? Because it's it's basically afraid that you're not going to feed it, which is obviously what's happening. Um, you guys might may step on the scales. Um, well, obviously, when you're not eating that, basically starving yourself, and you're like, why, is it, why are the scales not moving? This is why, okay? I'm sure some of you guys have been on the scales before and be like, WTF, what's going on? This doesn't make any sense. This is why it's kind of happening. This is why we're not seeing the results we want to see, Okay. Really um, interesting as well, so I call it death by treat. So the clients that are on like 500 calories, 1,000 calories, that starve themselves during the week and that, come the weekend, you guys have a treat in that, your body's gonna store even more body fat because of this treat. So what happens if you're on 500 calories daily and then all of a sudden you basically jump up to 2,000 plus calories with a couple of drinks or a meal out, you're gonna store straight into that. Um, so hence the death by treat. So you can be very, very careful with this. Um, big thing with this as well, guys, is binge eating. So People basically that aren't really feeding themselves, that are obviously being very restrictive with their nutrition, we tend to um, basically, so they, these people tend to, myself in the past as well, tend to then have these ma massive binges. Um, and basically what happens is they have like one bad meal, which leads to a whole weekend or a week of blowout eating and binge eating. Um, so you just got to be very, very aware of that. The more restrictive you are, the more obviously inclined you are to these binge, binge episodes. Um, Really interesting thing to understand, guys, and you want to understand is we need to understand the metabolic damage that obviously starving ourselves has, okay? It basically is this endless cycle of, of basically losing muscle and then gaining body fat. When we eat less, what happens here is we lose muscle, which that in return decreases, you can see over here, oh, wrong way, over here decreases our energy expenditure. So basically, the more muscle you guys have, the more energy you basically will burn at rest, okay? The less muscle, the less energy as well. So if you guys want to speed up your metabolism, one of the actual ways that you can do this is building that muscle. It's going to bump up your BMR. Um, but yeah, what happens is you lose muscle. We decrease, I keep going on this side. We lose muscle, we decrease the energy expenditure, and then we regain the weight with a vengeance, okay? And then it has this cycle of eating less again and going back over again, okay? So something you have to be very, very careful with. Um, one thing that we do, guys, so for us, basically, we always start clients off with what we say is creating the foundation, or I call it the playing field. Um, what that basically means is if you're at 1,000 calories, we want you basically eating 2,000 calories for the girls. We want the guys eating 3,000 plus calories. Once we get you guys actually eating, being able to eat food, being able to lose body fat while still eating food as well and building muscle, once you're at that point where you're at the high foundation, we can then talk about doing a shred with you or a cutting phase. Um, only then will we start to actually then take away, okay? Where we have to fix that metabolism. We have to get your body basically working for you versus against you, okay? It's very, very important. This photo here, guys, is Jess um, on the left is 1,000 calories, um, 30 kilos heavier, okay? On the right, it's her at 2,000 calories, 30 kilos lighter, okay? It's a massive difference. On the right, she's got muscle. Her metabolism's working very effectively. Um, and this photo on the right here as well, she hasn't even started cutting yet as well, okay? So it's 30 kilos of fat loss without actually doing a shred, Okay, if she wants to obviously go to that next bit, we've got 2,000 calories to, to now start cutting from. So very, very important, guys, build the foundation before you start a cutting phase, and that's exactly what we take our members through. Um, number two myth, guys, so it's myth two is need to eat 100% clean in order to lose fat. This is completely untrue. Okay, I fell into this big time. Um, what this does is it creates a very bad relationship with food, okay? Once again, it causes binge eating. So if people think they have to eat 100% clean all the time, when they have that little slip up, this turns into a really bad day or weekend or week, or even months basically can derail you for months on end. Um, so a lot of the clients will have this real um, quick, 
quitting mentality if you guys have this sort of this sort of mindset. So we're gonna break away from that as soon as possible. You don't have to be 100% clean, okay? Even myself and Crystal, like I would say we're probably 70 to 80% all year round in terms of the health, healthy foods that we actually have. Um, the only time we'd really go to 100% is if we're competing. Even then, you probably we probably wouldn't even say 100%. We'll just track our macros with food that we love and obviously tra- training um, training to, to kill. Um, but yeah, so one thing we have to be really aware of, so zero to 100% is the wrong mindset, okay? If people are going straight off the bat overnight, hitting that switch and hitting 100%, so you're going to break basically just as fast as you've obviously turned that switch on. So be very, very mindful of this. Um, yeah, I was someone that basically thought I had to eat chicken and rice three times a day. This is 10 years ago when I was starting off to get lean. You do not have to do that at all. Okay, I created some serious problems for myself. I avoided my family. I almost ruined my relationship with Crystal. First year that we dated, didn't take her out to, to dinner for a good 12 months or so because I thought, nah, I can't eat that because I'm trying to get lean. Um, didn't see my friends and wasn't really enjoying my life. Okay, food is such a massive part of our life. We need to make sure that we basically can still live our life and still get results, okay? Anything that's obviously causing restriction, like say like you're doing keto and you're cutting completely out of your carbs and that, um, or any, anything like that, what's really drastic in that, it's not lifelong. If it's not lifelong, you, you're going to go backwards, okay, when you stop. Um, yeah, so what we, t- what we teach our clients and what I kind of came to learn was macros and flexible dieting. What this basically means, guys, is we've got a budget, okay? If we... Basically, if we blow our budget, we go, we basically gain fat, okay? If we're under budget, we're basically guaranteed muscle loss, okay? So if we're blowing our carbs, we're blowing our protein, even, uh, even protein as well, or we're blowing our fats, we're going to have fat gain, okay? Um, if we're obviously way under your protein, way under your carbs, way under your fats, you're going to have consistent muscle loss, okay? So this is basically an approach that we, we can use to really justify and see um, from afar what's going to happen just from your day to day, okay? We can look at your seven days and assess exactly what's going to happen come that next bio scan. And because of this, guys, we can then basically predict success, okay? Let me move myself. That actually says success. Um, so we can predict exactly what's going to happen. So we know you're going to have results or we know you're not going to have results. And as long as we can predict what's going to happen, we then know how to then coach you guys into actually seeing actionable changes and making actual changes to get results, okay? Biggest thing here, here though, guys, like this process of flexible dieting has allowed us to have a lifestyle. Any form of like, like diet trends or diet fads that kind of float about that aren't really lifelong and don't really accommodate for your lifestyle, this is going to be short-lived. And if it's short-lived, guys, you are going to put the weight back on, okay? So we want something that's definitely easy, that's enjoyable, that allows you to have a life. And if if that's the case, if you're able to do that, you're able to see lifelong results and changes. Um, Love to hear, guys, what you thought of the seminar. If you already knew this stuff or if it's quite new to you as well, Um, Most clients coming in the door haven't really been aware of this, so I really wanted to do a video on it um, to kickstart the journey, okay, to get you guys knowing exactly what you need to know from day dot. Um, Look forward to seeing you guys real soon in the gym. All right, catch you guys. Bye.